we have a computer lab, a classroom facility, and we have also a series of offices. And so this building will serve as a base for the teaching and educational components of Tyson, as well as a variety of the research activities that we do here. On May 29, 2009, Tyson Research Center opened its new Living Learning Center, which could be the first living building in North America. A living building is a high-performance building that produces its own power and cleans and reuses all its own water. While the building is currently open, it won't fully be considered to be a living building until next year. The Cascadia Region Green Building Council put forward a living building challenge, and this challenge requires buildings that want to achieve it to be in operation for a full year before they can achieve status as a living building. And so we're in the process of trying to achieve this status. There are a total of 16 criteria that will be reviewed over the next year for the Living Learning Center to get certified as a living building. The main criteria will be how the building uses its energy and wastewater. There are many features of the Living Building Challenge that you have to meet in order to meet these requirements. The most important ones include materials, energy, and water usage. So what we have to achieve is zero net energy, zero net water usage, as well as a variety of materials and educational and aesthetic values in this building. Since the challenge was launched in November 2006, more than 60 project teams across North America have opted to pursue certification. In one year, if all the criteria are met, the Living Learning Center at Tyson could be the first building in North America to meet and be certified as a living building.